Hello world! In this utility Snowflake notebook, you're going to learn how to audit and report on user roles and privileges. And so without further ado, we're starting right now. So you can see here that this notebook will allow you to implement a user role analysis workflow, also a role grant analysis as well. So this will help you to ensure adherence to security policies. So for each of the implementation, we're going to firstly use SQL query to retrieve the data. Then we're going to convert it into a pandas data frame. Afterward, we're going to prepare it and also filter the data so that it will be amenable for creating data visualization when we build out our uh, dashboard at the end. And so we're going to do the same implementation for both the user row and also the world grant analysis. So why don't we scroll down here and then let's begin with the first implementation. So here we're gonna do a user role analysis. So we'll start by retrieving information on the user details. So while we explain, let's start up the notebook. So the user details will include the name of the user, whether the status of the user is disabled or not, the last login, the creation date, and we're also gonna look at the roles, such as which roles were granted, who granted them, and when was it granted by. And this will be made possible by joining two tables, including the users table and also the grants to users table. So this query will produce the following output. Let's run it. Give it a few moments. All right, and so here is a table of all of the users on the warehouse that I'm on. Scroll down. We're gonna take the previous cell, which was called SQL user row. We're gonna copy the cell name here, and then we're gonna append two pandas. And so essentially this will convert the entire data table above into a native pandas data frame which will then be assigned to a Python variable called df underscore user underscore row. And so we'll use this data frame in just a few moments. So we're going to then perform some data wrangling in order to make it amenable for data visualization. So here you're gonna see that we have the username, the status, of the user, whether it was disabled or not, uh, the date of the last login, the user creation date, roles that was granted, who was it granted by, and also when was the grant created on. So first, we're gonna create a user activity matrix, which will be useful when we create our heat map. So we're first gonna group by the name and also the granted row. Then we're gonna convert it into a long format so that it'd be amenable for a heat map creation. We're gonna add some user status information into the data frame. So next we're gonna build out our dashboard, a simple dashboard using Altair for the data visualization, particularly the heat map. And then we're gonna add some interactivity by means of input widget using Stromlet. So here is approximately less than 100 lines of code, and it will give us a dashboard here. So that was from a prior run. Let me run it again. Let me run this first. Or actually, this one. All right. Then I'm going to run this because that was from a prior run. OK, this is working now. And then I'm going to run the following, the dashboard part. All right, so let me show you the dashboard before I go over the code. So here you're gonna have the input widgets, which is a essentially a select box that allows you to you know 
select or deselect users and then the resulting dashboard here will be updated accordingly. So we have the users here and the first column, second column we have the rows. So yeah, feel free to modify the selection and then you're gonna see that the heat map below here will be updated in real time. All right, so some user might have two rows here some have one, some have no roles for specific um, users. So some users may have multiple roles, as you can see. Some users have one, some users have two, some have several. And this is done using Streamlit widget, the st.metric. And here we're using Altair for the creation of the heat map. And it's very interactive. You could click on it. You could look at the underlying data frame. So if you make a selection here, the chart will be updated. You're going to notice that the value is changing. And also the underlying data frame is also being updated in real time based on your user selection. So the, the code here to implement this dashboard is less than 100 lines of code. Let's have a quick walkthrough. So here, essentially, we're starting out by importing the necessary Python libraries. So we're using pandas for the data wrangling. We're using Altair for creation of the heat map. We're using Streamlit for the front end UI that you see. So essentially, we're giving it a name, user analysis dashboard, which is provided here. We're going to create two columns for the input widget, which is here using ST columns. And then the first column is called select users. Second column is called select rows. And then it is essentially retrieving unique values for the different users and also for the different rows. Then based on the selection, we're going to use that information in order to perform further filtering of the data. And then that updated data will be stored in the filter data variable. And finally, we're going to use it for uh, displaying the summary metric and also for creation of the heat map. So the heat map will be created using the out chart function, also with the mark rectangle uh, method. And all of these will allow us to stylize uh, the heat map. And then you're going to see it right here. So feel free to customize, you know, like the, the height of it, the labeling of it, also the labels on the X and Y axis as well. You'll notice that I've added, you know, lines um, to be um, in black color right here to separate each of the boxes or cells in the heat map. And so, that is for the first part of the implementation. All right, let's have a look at the row grant analysis. So in a similar workflow, we're going to, you know, retrieve the data using our SQL query here. We're going to get the data from the Snowflake account usage grant to rows table. Um, the prior implementation was done from the Snowflake account usage user and also grant to user tables as mentioned already. And then let's run it. Let's give it a few moments. So here we're going to be able to see all of the active privileges granted to roles, including what type of privileges was granted, what object it was granted on, the specific object name and also who granted it and also when was it created. Give it a few moments here. All right, and so here we have about 10,000 rows. All right. So do note here that the SQL cell here is called SQL row grants and then we're going to use that information to convert it into a pandas data frame. And then the data frame will be saved to DF row grants variable, which is a native Python variable. 
So do know that you could, you know, relay information from a SQL cell in a Snowflake notebook into a Python cell and also vice versa from Python cell into a SQL cell as well by using the double uh, braces symbol on the variable name. So then now that we got the data frame in a pandas format, we're going to use it to, you know, generate a simple dashboard for the row grant analysis. We're going to go ahead and adjust the select box widget for privileges and object types. So, you know, similar pattern, but just changing uh, the underlying information from the user roles to the row that is granted. So let's run the dashboard. So same implementation. So we have the selection for the privileges and then we have the selection for the object types. And here in this metric box, we have the total number of row that has been granted and also the total number of unique users on the warehouse. And in this bar chart here, we're going to see for each of the users, which or how many roles has been granted. And for your convenience, it has been color coded. And do note here that there are so many roles and also so many object types. So for here, you're going to notice that you see there's so many privileges that you could select and it will be, you know, added to the chart here. So let me know how you're applying this for your own use cases. And if you'd like for more information, you could go to the particular cell here and do click on some links here to learn more about account usage, users view, grants to users, more about Snowflake notebooks and how you could, you know, use Streamlit widgets more in a notebook. And there's also additional information in the Altair user guide. So all of the code here that you see will be provided in the video description. So we have a GitHub repo where you could download this notebook and get started. And so I hope that this video was helpful to you. Drop a cloud emoji in the comment section if you reached this far and smash the like button, turn on notifications. And until next time, happy coding.